What's going on everybody? Welcome to this video on high dynamic range and how you can achieve this from this in one simple step. So without any further ado, let's go. All right, so usually if you have ever flown a drone outside midday, your clip will most definitely look something like this. Especially if you want to expose the foreground properly, then usually the sky is completely blown out. Now, there is one simple step that I usually take whenever this happens, and I'm going to explain you now. So I already created a grade. So if you see where we started from, I do this by pressing Alt-D, that will deselect all the nodes. You see that there is still some detail in the sky. When you either apply the LUT or you, you know, do all the corrections yourself, the end result will look something like this, with the sky completely blown out. So this is my normal node tree. Yeah, you've got your basic corrections here. You've got a color space transform here, some contrast, some YUV color space, color boosting madness, some extra sort of color leveling. Then I've got my corrections that all my blacks remain black and I've got some sharpness. Now, what I do in order to get a nice sort of exposed sky, is really easy. Go to the first node where you've had your exposure corrections on, press Alt L to create a layer node and you see that all the corrections from this node are sort of taken off because everything is routed through the layer node first. Now, if we put a qualifier on this, all the corrections that are not being affected by the qualifier are being passed through. Let's see what happens. So the only thing that we want to affect is the sky, which has a very high luminance value. So you can drag this bar, the luminance, we can take these ones off just for good measure. You just drag the luminance value up to this sort of like brighter tones and you can see what happens. You see that? So now we can sort of make sure that the line of the... I'm, I'm looking at the line here. Yeah, you cannot see where I'm pointing, but I'm looking at the line of the mountain up top. So right about there, and then I am going to soft it out. And now I am going to take out some of the brightness by just, you know, dragging down the offset levels. And here we go. There is some sky coming back. Fabulous. All right, now we can do a better job. Let's see what happens if we take it off. That is already a tremendous difference, but we can definitely do a better job uh, sort of qualifying that area. So just play around with these tools until you think it looks a bit better. Yeah, so this is very intense and now we lose a lot of the glow on the grass. So I'll probably take it off right about there and I'm going to make it a bit less intensive. And that's it. If we take it off, put it on, so cool, so fast. Let's see what it looks like with and without. Pretty sick. Now maybe there's a bit too much brightness overall, so I'm just gonna go back to my main exposure, then drag it down just a touch, and that will not affect anything because we've got it layered through this qualifier. Pretty sweet. Let's play it one more time. Bam. That's it, so a quick one, I uh, hope this was helpful. I sure use it all the time because I think it's very, uh, very easy to do it this way. Way easier than play around with the HDR tools or play around with like all these tools here because you always crush either the shadows or the highlights. So by using uh, a qualifier like this, you can very sort of precisely mark one area of the image that you want to uh, be affected by a specific effect. So. That's it. Thank you so much for watching and uh, until Monday.